A very warm welcome to everyone. I would like to extend the second part of the podcast on dynamic virtual marking and provide a short 20 minute summary of the customer days of Kramer and Hofmann. As IP manager of Genoptic, I had the pleasure of giving a one hour presentation which was received as very interesting by the podium. Again, many thanks to the organizer Kramer and Hoffmann and the interested podium. The full length presentation is available from Kramer and Hoffmann or directly from me. First, I would like to introduce myself again. My name is Stefan Kienitz and I am IP manager of Genoptic. The concept in the dynamic virtual marking, which I would like to present in this podcast, cannot, of course, be derived from everyday life between patent applications and oppositions to official decisions. For this purpose, I founded the company Patent Manager DE in 2004. From this company, the concept for GeneOptic was born and we developed it together with the company Kramer and Hofmann. The dynamic virtual marking process is divided into three main components. An ingenious sticker which can be applied to all products and components in your production. The motto is keep your manufacturing process lean. A database from Kram and Hofmann which provides an allocation of products to associated patents and other industrial property rights and fully automates the respective legal status. More or less, this is a combination of virtual marking and patent monitoring and trademark and design monitoring. Very simple. And an output, namely a clear listing of the product specific property rights, patents, trademarks and design patents. For example, as PDF or HTML file, updated weekly very lean, very simple. But what does DVM stands for? Of course, it is abbreviation for dynamic virtual marking. But what exactly is the motivation? In short, it is about an indirect but very efficient copy protection of your products. By what? Through pain. Pain of the patent infringer. Pain in the form of damage compensation. However, for this you first must construct a claim for damages. IP marketing is one of my favorite topics in connection with dynamic virtual marketing. That's why I will present a separate podcast here shortly. In the English speaking world, especially in the US and UK, virtual marketing has already established itself. That's why I don't need to advertise it here in such an elaborate way. Most people are familiar with it, but the experts in the field of virtual marketing also know how static and maintenance intensive the system is. Yes, it is just static. All legal statuses have to be maintained manually, so a report on dynamization so that you have more time, more time to apply for patents. Okay, Genoptic is the first company worldwide to use dynamic virtual marking. I reported on this at Kramer and Hofmann's customer days. Best practice. The initial question for you and the podium is, do you mark your products sufficiently in terms of your industrial property rights? such as patents, trademarks or design trademarks? Or do you mark them in a time-consuming manner, thereby being prone to errors with individual patent numbers? If you do not do either, you are for fighting your claims for potential damage payments. And in countries such as US and Great Britain, you are obligated to mark your products in terms of any damage claim. Also in Australia, it would be helpful. So answering the initial question, damage claims are extremely important, particularly in the US and also in the UK. In addition to a weakened legal position, if a mark is missing, under some circumstances, large amounts of money, often six figures and up, are just given away. 
During the customer days of Kramer and Hoffmann, I also showed one fits all stickers. That's one sticker for all products. So our solution is the dynamic virtual marking. It is one sticker and it contains this and other products may be covered by patents, trademarks or design rights. Watch www.iprights.report. You use our own developed sticker and stick it onto all products that at least contain a patent, design or trademark. Your company logo is sufficient. No time consuming distinctions for your production processes. Keep it lean. Exactly one sticker for all products. Virtual marking makes it possible and is compliant with the law in the aforementioned countries, US and UK for example, and among others. So no patent notification due to outdated legal statuses. No violation of competition. We offer you a new, simple and fully automated process to label your relevant commercial industrial property rights and always guarantee current public and international legal status information against competitors and potential product pirates. In other words, the legal status pending granted and lapse is automatically updated per country lapsed is automatically removed. This means that your damage claim is ensured. Our solution for small products, small products, small stickers. On the right hand you see the sticker of light and safety from Genoptic and on the left side you see also an option with a QR code. We also spoke about the basics of the virtual marking. It is a US code 35287. It's from in the US from 2011 and in the UK it's also from the 1st of October in 2014. So uh, and also in Australia there are recommendations of virtual marking by national patent attorneys and what does the code say uh, in the event of failures so to mark no damage shall be recovered by patentees in any action for infringement so you have to mark we also spoke about the legal situation in Germany and the conclusion was that it could be a copy protection also here in Germany we again spoke about virtual marking of Philips. Uh, why again? Again because the first episode of this podcast deals with Philips and uh, they make it very very good with the virtual marking but it is only a static process, so it's not dynamic virtual marking, it's a static virtual marking. We have no white labeling, uh, the legal status patented uh, is only there uh, described, uh, pending only as a reference without mentioning the public publication. The legal status is manual, so it's good updates labs must be removed manually no brands and this could be a problem with the production so it was the motto was keep it lean and you have to work with your European SAP system US patents only no UK and no Australian patents we also spoke about virtual market from 3M and Nike. So the future patent labeling method 2020 plus is a dynamic virtual marking with our special sticker with link to your to a website. And the advantages are one sticker for our products may or with excellent IP management product has at least one brand so the sticker can be applied to any product. May means not 
every product has to have a patent, a trademark or design right is also okay because there is mentioned that there is a patent, a trademark or a design right. So no arrogation of patents possible, automatic updated of all legal statuses. Data only needs to be created once and only one patent family member needs to be created. The other patent family members are listed automatically. IP marketing, okay, I will speak about this in another episode, but uh, there it is a bar work as a protective wall. And white labeling is very interesting. We do not use uh, the URL, uh, the um, website of the company, for example, in this case of Genoptic, we um, decided to use a white labeling. So it's good concerning M&A. It's M&A safe if uh, some uh, products or divisions will be sold. And it is also license friendly. So again you see the sticker for the Jane Optic and this is an example for the implementation as a PDF. So here you see an example uh, how we stick the sticker. So visibility is mandatory but it is not defined. So recommendations would be for all new products that have a tie plate. So preferably in its vicinity. So directly to the type plate in this case. And uh, integrate into the drawings in the case of new developments. Otherwise, if you have products which are not new, otherwise you can illustrate it with process instructions, with sample pictures for production areas. And in this uh, example, the sticker is on the bottom of our flash house. For small products, uh, you can also use smaller stickers uh, and you can also mark only the packaging. And if the infringer wants to open your product, uh, he first will see the sticker with the hind that he has to look at www.ipwrites.report and then he is automatically and redirected to the website of Genoptic. And here you see uh, the intellectual property of Genoptic Light and Safety. And after a short disclaimer, you directly see the PDF which you can open. And if you have opened the PDF, you directly see. Uh, the PDF solution, one PDF for all products of our division uh, with a table of contents with hyperlinks. In this case we want to choose or select the Trafistar S350 product. The output a clearly arranged list of the product specific industrial property rights, patents, trademarks and design rights. Here is a PDF file integrated into the Genoptic website. Updated weekly, very lean, very simple. If status lapsed, patent, trademark, design numbers are automatically removed. This PDF offers a very efficient manner to show uh, which patents, which trademarks and which designs are granted, which are lapsed, which are uh, in, in this case for trademarks registered. You also uh, see uh, the European patent and all the validated countries if they are granted or not. We also spoke about design rules, the IP sticker of LLS with a SAP number and you can compare it to the screw or to another part because it is in your part list. I also gave implementation recommendations. So getting started, you are not using dynamic virtual marking yet. So 
what would be the process steps step by step check whether all products have at least one brand improve already from marketing aspects for new products include stickers in drawings and part lists for x6 existing products first look at those intended for the us uk or australia choose which product should be actually be claimed in the court of the countries mentioned in the event of case first fill in for these the most important expert products later fill in others you do not have to reach 100 percent here so the photo documentation as work instruction as under design rules place sticker near the tie plates later when design changes are made the drawing changes with sticker position can be added if necessary necessary that's all and dvm protects like a helmet so static virtual marking is already in use yeah very good in this case only a transfer of the us patent numbers to export products is necessary for dynamic modification dvm so copy and paste addition of the brands and design numbers so that's all dvm protects like a helmet also in this case we spoke about the three cores of dvm and one of course is a sticker and one is a database and one is a pdf and here you see the database expert products this database is from kramer and hoffman also this core is smart it's lean and it's very simple so it's very user friendly only six input steps for efficient protection of a product a single publication number as a family member is sufficient concern the patents the trademarks and the designs if you once have defined the producer and then of course the product name then you are ready for protection only six input steps don't waste your time and don't waste your money i also presented a clear listing of all products you have created and uh, the similar products you can copy it via templates very lean very simple you do not fail to secure your claim for damages secure your production sites secure your jobs oh dr miller is waving again the time is over you don't know him get to know him and more about dynamic virtual marketing Watch. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.